What is up guys, it's Mike here, and today we are going to be looking at the third pack of the 2021 Spin Master Monster Jam Doubles for the Dirty to Clean series. Alright, so the third pack, and a pack that we are seeing kind of unique here, because I'm, I'm pretty sure Tom Mintz, didn't Tom Mintz drive Radical Rescue at some point? So that's pretty cool, if that is legit. But here it is, it is Max D versing Dirty, or Dirty Max D, wow. Max D facing Radical Rescue, or versing Radical Rescue, and it's the Dirty to Clean series out of Series 12 for the doubles for Spin Master. And as you guys can tell in the package right now, the trucks do not look dirty. Now, I made this mistake in the last video to where I thought they were dirty, and I thought once you add the water, they would just get clean, but if your trucks don't look dirty in the pack, just run them under cold water and put them in like a like a bowl or like a container for about five to 10 minutes, and then you're really gonna see the dirt on these trucks. So that's one thing I wanna say, because I made that mistake, so. That's just something I would like to point out as well. So Max D, Radical Rescue, uh, definitely a weird pairing to say the least. It's definitely unique. And as we turn to the back here, I just I love this whole getup they have going on going on here with this. So I really love that. Like this is one thing I, I'm gonna say it in like every video I make with these because I really do like that. And I also like how they have the actual legit trucks compared to previous years where we had another truck from the mix in the back. The reason why I think they did this was because now you can see the entire mix up here. So I think that's why they did that. And that's pretty cool as well. And of course you got Gravedigger, which I think this is going to be on every single pack in the future. So that's pretty cool. But yeah, pretty interesting to see Max D and Radical Rescue. Honestly, I didn't think we would see another Radical Rescue truck. I think the last time we saw it was last year mix oh god i don't even think we saw it did we i can't remember last time we saw radical rescue with if that's being the case then we're due for one <laughs> so thank god it's a reveal the steel one. Oh wait no we uh did see that one the reveal the steel one i think that's the last time we saw it so the last time we saw reveal the steel radical rescue maybe someone please correct me on that <laughs> so if that's the case, we're seeing it again in another double pack. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open this pack, and we're going to look at them real quick, and then we're going to make them dirty, because they don't seem to be that dirty. Alright guys, so here they are, completely out of the pack, and as you can tell, Radical Rescue doesn't look like it has an ounce of dirt on it, or it doesn't look dirty at all. But first I just want to say that both these trucks do have a brown, muddy-ish brownish muddy <laughs> chassis along with a black roll cage and Radical Rescue does have red rims with a red beadlock and Max D does have orange rims with an orange beadlock and these trucks it seems to me that every truck in this series or at least in mix 12 will have the same exact chassis and roll cage I don't think anyone is different however there is two trucks so far with red rims and they are the same color red rims with Pirate's Curse and Radical Rescue, so that's pretty cool. So take a nice little look at these because I'm about to just change them and make them cold and we're gonna see all the dirt here in about a second. All right guys, so we just got done letting these trucks soak for about five minutes in a bowl of ice cold water. And as you guys can tell, they have changed tremendously. So you can definitely tell the dirt on Max V. That is one of the trucks that it really pops when you make it dirty to clean also radical rescue kind of hard to see um i really do think this series is good however i do think certain trucks it's a lot better on so far my two favorite trucks are definitely max d and fully charged those ones you can really see the details on them as for radical rescue it is really hard to see the details on that so let's start off by looking at radical rescue first and Radical yet Rescue, you can tell it's dirty in the front. It's got basically all the dirt and grime on the grill. Now, for some reason, this could be just an error on mine, but you see on the Radical Rescue logo, the truck is very dirty on the side, very dusty. It's all dusty up here on the ladders as well, on the corner panels, right here on the stable bar, and also on the tailgate. The truck is just 
completely dusty looking. However, it is dusty here on my truck, but it's not dusty on the logo. So this side is a little different than this side. And I wonder if that's just maybe I didn't let it soak long enough or maybe, I don't know, maybe just that's how it is. Of course, there's nothing on the roof. That's one thing I like. So Spitmaster actually took the time of like if the truck did do a real life show where the truck would actually be dirty the most. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to soak this truck in some hot water and we're going to see it really shine. So when it's sitting here and soaking in the water, I'm going to bring out Max D again. And this truck, I think it looks really, really good. So you can really see the dirt on it here. Now the thing honestly helping this truck is because it is silver, it is kind of a grayish color, and you can really see the dirt on the nose of the truck here, you can really see it over on Maximus on his face and everything, on the corner panels, back here on like the tailgate area, I mean overall as far as the whole gimmick goes of Dirty to Clean, Max D this is like, it makes it pop, it, you can really see it and when this truck does like get uh, put in hot water you're really going to see a difference with it. But it looks really, really nicely done. I like this one a lot. I think this one might be the best one so far. But we're going to look at Radical Rescue here. We're going to dry him off. And as we dry him off, we're going to take good old Max D. Remember how it looks. And we're going to dunk him right into the hot water. So, yeah, now this truck looks really good. And one thing I noticed with this truck compared to the other two... Uh, other four trucks really that I've done this one doesn't feel glossy anywhere it doesn't feel like it has matted paint so I don't know what that could be so here's the truck on the side here now it's all clean and shiny the front on the yellow stripe there's no dirt dust or anything so even though there were some areas that's kind of hard to tell but you can definitely see where the truck did get clean I like that the tailgate back here ladders on the side so really cool i like this this is pretty pretty unique pretty sick pretty cool pretty fun you know all the above now i did not let that truck soak long long at all in the hot water so that's something i'd like to max d i'm taking that truck out right now <laughs> And how long was that? Maybe a minute or two? So these trucks don't take a while to change color, but one thing I do have to say is if you want them to look dirty, try your best to keep them in like a cool area if you don't want to get them wet. Because like you saw when I opened this package up, these trucks didn't look dirty at all. And they've been sitting basically in a cool room of 70 degrees and they did not look dirty at all. They kind of look like this, exactly how Max D looks right now, as I take off the rest of the water. And yeah, <laughs> that truck is very clean. So if you remember, the truck was very dirty on the front. You can't even really tell there was dirt on it now, on the sides, on the tailgate area. I mean, Max D, this one, this one kind of had to come back in a strong way, let's be honest. With the real to steel one, it was not that good with the gold Max D, but I think they chose the right one. They chose this Max D, and I think it looks very, very good. Very good for the whole gimmick of Dirty to Clean. You can't even really tell with this truck where it's supposed to be dirty until you actually get it dirty. But yeah, that's going to basically do it for this uh, mix right here, or not this mix, but these two trucks right here. So far, Max D, that might be my favorite one. That was a pretty unique one. I'm happy to see Radical Rescue back. So that's pretty cool. We got another one of those. Don't know if we're going to have a singles version of that. I don't remember that one popping up anywhere. So if that's the only Radical Rescue, I'm okay with that. But let me know what you guys think in the comments. I really like the Max D. This one might be one of the best ones of the year so far for... Well, what we had so far for Mix 1. But, wow, Mix 1, Mix 12. First Mix of the dirty to clean but mix 12 overall oh god these numbers and mixes but yeah with that being said guys catch me in another video don't forget to like don't forget to subscribe and i shall see you guys very shortly in another video